Hi Taurians, this is your reading for April 2017. It's just uh, me and a fluffleupagus guess over here. <laughs> um, I do want to say that we got your card. Yeah, okay. So that's always a good thing. I haven't gotten anybody's card in a long time. But let's go ahead and go over your decks. Um, primary deck, you had three of pentacles. Okay, so this talks about some kind of a community or a group, um, a union, and also possible affair. And with somebody who is young, like an apprentice. The next card is the full new beginnings. Okay, so I see a foolish idea, having a new beginning with somebody, um, going on a new enterprise, possibly joining the new workforce. Also, it could be having a new start at a job and becoming an apprentice again. Okay, I could see that. Going back to school. All right, so let's come to your situation. Your situation is King of Swords. I believe this is you because it's clarified by the Hierophant, which is your card. I had a hard time figuring out for the longest time who this would be, okay? But it's you, and it's a good thing, okay? Um, but if for some reason it's not you and this is going to be you and that's the other person, it could actually it could be either because it is hard to clarify. You will know who's who, okay? When I see the Hierophant and the King of Swords together, I see somebody who's official. Could be a government official, could be somebody in administration, uh, could possibly even be a teacher. Um, but I do see like a priest too, okay? Um, and this King of Swords person is offering you, or you're offering, some really sound advice during a really hard time. Okay, so somebody's getting some good advice. But there's a growing crush on this authority figure. It could be you um, that the crush is growing on, or you could be growing a crush on someone. And I'm really starting to think that this is going to be you, not that this is clarifying that that is you. I think this is the other person. Um, It could be a government teacher or an economics teacher or a religious teacher, a priest. But basically, this says just respect the answers you get from somebody who's wiser than you are. And if you have some answers to give somebody, you really need to speak up, okay? You have a silver tongue and you are very influential with your words. Now when I see these cards combined with the High Priestess, which you have, okay, uh, with the Hierophant, I mean King of Swords, with the Hierophant, the High Priestess, and with the Devil, all three of those, the only ones you're missing are Emperor and Justice, okay? But because you have three out of five, this says you are an unstoppable force of nature, okay? You cannot be stopped. You're cutting through with your sword. You're scattering your enemies, okay? And whatever you do is going to have a lasting influence for a very long time. So you do need to listen to the advice you're getting because it's really good advice. Um, with the fool over here and Hierophant, King of Swords, especially with the Hierophant, I see that there are students involved, okay? So it could be there's a student that's having a crush on you or you're a student having a crush on a professor or a priest or somebody like that. With the Three of Pentacles, this is talking about a community or spiritual work. So I do see it, it could be, take on uh, religious connotations or it could be a teacher of religion in a college. With King of Swords, the Hierophant, and five of wands, which comes up in your other challenges later, I see building a new organization or attending a new organization, a new college, a new church, a new synagogue. Um, and it is very spiritual because later on in your obstacle slash fate, we have Ace of Cups. And I see that it is a spiritual society in that case. Okay. 
And it is a happy community because when you look at the Ace of Cups as the rainbow, which reminds me of Ten of Cups, which is a happy union, a happy community, like a church. But let's talk about your obstacle slash fate. I'm not sure why, okay, because you're Taurians, and you must have some Scorpio in your chart, possibly as a rising sign or a Venus sign. You have King of Cups in reverse. This is always Scorpio to me, but he's in reverse, which means um, lacking emotional balance, possibly lacking some passion, and needing to... Um, get things righted. Also, could be somebody who's like a betrayer. Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's not being forthright. Um, when it comes to death, which you also have, you have a lot of major arcana, I see somebody who's very, very possessive. And it could even be like, not stalkerish, but it's just a little more possessive. And with the Page of Cups right next to death, in this card, I see that somebody is acting, and it's going to take some emotional strength, which you just don't have, okay? And I see a lack of passion, because this card is Scorpio to me, and it's all about sex. Right next to the Ace of Cups, which talks about love begins, I do see that there is some kind of love affair that may be sparked, but maybe it's not consummated. Like It's maybe more of an emotional affair than a sexual one. And I see lack of motivation, okay? So that could be like somebody's depressed um, over the start of an affair, and so they're unmotivated. I also see addictions here, okay? This is somebody who's addicted. It could be drugs, alcohol, promiscuity. So there could be a priest somewhere who has a sexual addiction, and... You know, what's going on here? Well, he just started a love affair. Um, could be emotional, okay? Coming to what's going to help your obstacle or your fate, we had Wheel of Fortune. So there is going to be a good turn of luck, okay? Um, I think this is talking about a Scorpio because the Sphinx is pointing to the Eagle, which is representative of Scorpio. Not sure why, okay? Um... Also, he's you know, holding a book, which is representative of the High Priestess, which is coming out on the other side. And I always pull on either side of Wheel of Fortune to see what's going on. So on one side, we have secrets and retrospect, um, reflection, intuition. You know, your intuition is really good concerning whatever this turn of events is. And it looks like it's going to be for the best, because this is really good luck here. And when I see these together, it looks like you're getting some kind of karmic reward. But trust your intuition. It's going to be spot on. Okay. Um, also, we have temper temperance later on. So anytime I have the Wheel of Fortune, I see temperance in the reading. You're going to have a peaceful outcome, whatever it is. On the other side of the Wheel of Fortune, something else you're dealing with is Three of Wands. Okay, and that's partnerships and alliances. So you're trying to be passive, take a step back. Um, trust your intuition about this turn of luck as far as partnerships and alliances go. I also see here that there's going to be some kind of spiritual bliss or some kind of spiritual outcome with lots of peace due to some kind of alliance. So you could be joining with a person, a partnership. You could be joining a church. You could be becoming a pastor of the church. Because High Priestess I could see as some kind of a pastor because she's an information giver. She's the revealer of esoteric knowledge. And she does it only when it benefits somebody. Now I can't tell you what the secret is going to be, okay? Um, because here it's like the cards are keeping it a secret even from you, okay? But it does look like a karmic reward for the best and it has to do with a partnership or alliance or a community. So those are the steps that let's say go ahead and join, okay? Your strength, which is going to help you with those um, steps to help with your obstacle or fate, we have King of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody, a leader, somebody who's very practical and steady. I think it's reminiscent of uh, the King of Swords or the um, Hierophant, 
one of you guys, whoever is the authority figure. It's also representative of King of Cups. Okay, this is the person who's like the priest, the teacher, whoever it might be, the person who's in authority. And since he's in reverse, um, there is a little bit of, um, well, with the devil, for instance, the devil is clarifying it. Okay, so there is a temptation to uh, be very possessive. And it's a possessive relationship because normally it's the two lovers that are chained together. Okay. So it's a very sexual relationship. This is your strength. I'm not sure why. You're chained to this person almost karmically. And if you're wanting to be in a relationship with this person, it looks like you're going to get it because this normally stable, practical person is going to be pulled into temptation. They're going to be falling off the bandwagon, so to speak. And we did have an addiction card earlier with King of Cups. So here I see falling off the bandwagon. So if it's a sexual addiction, alcohol, drugs, I don't know why strength would be falling off the bandwagon. But that's what I'm seeing here. But because it is strength, for those of you who want to tempt somebody into being in an affair with you, you will get it. Um, if you want to be in an affair with somebody else, you will get it. And if you look, it's not going to lead to anything no, it's not going to lead to a loss, okay? Because if you've got King of Pentacles, he's holding this pentacle. It's very secure. He's not dropping it. It looks like it could drop, but it's not. And it's in reverse. And there's no way he could drop this because of the way he's holding it. You see what I mean? So he's very secure even when he's falling off. So I see that if it is about addictions and falling off, you're going to recover. Okay. Uh, it just may be very, very very dark in the interim. Um, it could also be you're just very stubborn. <laughs> you want this relationship and so you're going to get it. But it's some kind of a vice or weakness and it's done unethically. Also this official that we're talking about, they could be corrupt and that's why they're able to be led astray because they're corrupt. So be very careful. Okay. And it has to do something with spirituality. Maybe you're just having a moral dilemma on whether or not you should do this, um, or they're having a moral dilemma on whether or not they should do this. But there's a distinct lack of motivation um, and depression, as well as prom promiscuity and addiction. Could be some emotional manipulation with this new love offer. And I see some just possessiveness here and needing emotional strength, and a, a little bit of like, manipulation and falsity. Okay, other challenges that come up. We have, eh. also I just wanna talk about this real quick. I see being tempted to make rash decisions. Sorry, I don't think I led that before. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I do see taking a gamble. Okay, so taking a risk. It could be with the Page of Cups. It could be that um, there, your lover with the death card, no, with devil, sorry, with the devil and the fool over here, it could be that you have a lover who has an addiction and it's really hard on you. It's making your life difficult, okay? Um, and so you're thinking about giving up the offer of love that maybe you had had. Maybe you don't want to start that love begins, ace of cups, maybe you want to get, release it, Okay. Um, but with the fool and the page of cups, but devil is the temptation, the one that's making your life difficult, um, very possessive with the fool, you're going to get somebody like a lover who's going to soothe your soul. They're going to give you that new beginning, that free, um, that freedom, that nonconformity where you don't have to conform like the higher vent may want you to. But also with the fool, I do see more addiction. So be very careful. It could be gambling even, but I'm seeing a lot of sexual stuff. All right, now, since Page of Cups is in reverse and uh, King of Pentacles is in reverse, I see you're going to have to be very patient. Um, and Death is crowning the Page of Cups, so I do see the end of an offer or the end of an affair. And it's Page of Cups, so it's very young, okay? So there could be an end of an affair with a young person or end of an affair before it gets started because we have death and the fool. So something's over before it gets started. 
And then we have five of wands, which I see starting a new organization. But there's um, obstacles and challenges, okay? So you may want to start again. You may want to have a rebirth. But there's lots of obstacles and challenges, and challenges to do that. It could just be the rebirth of a new organization, um, but it could be a relationship. But with death and five of wands, I see there is an end to a conflict, and I think it's over pretty quickly. Um, with the high priestess over here, I do see it's about a secret. So death and high priestess, there is a secret. And it's about being determined, having that ambition to get what you want. So you're going to overcome your obstacles. Go into your potential outcome. We have Ten of Swords Reverse, so this tells me getting over an emotional betrayal, being uh, motivated to move on. You know, swords are falling out, so you can move on. And this is like doubly done, okay? Also be careful not to be led like by somebody having a false face. Don't be led into being the scapegoat, okay? It's clarified by Seven of Swords. So I do see that there was some kind of deception, some kind of jealousy that caused an emotional betrayal, and there's residual feelings that might be causing deception or envy, but it's over now. So we need to let it go. Because um, with Five of Wands, there was some kind of competition that you were having to have Maybe this is your husband or wife that is the authority figure cheating with somebody who's younger. I don't know. And it looks like during the competition, somebody had to be sneaky and underhanded. I also see, you know, an affair here, too. Somebody had to be cunning, okay? But the competition was over pretty quickly, and it could have been done to something like something was done underhanded. And with Ace of Pentacles, I see... Um, having to work really, really hard to get back something that you may have lost. Could be being an apprentice, going back to school like we had over here before. Again, we have new organization, okay, and it's gonna be obstacles, so perhaps you do work on being a student very hard at a new place after you've had an affair, or after, yeah, after you've had an affair. Um, with the Five of Wands, and page of cups next to each other. I see that you are having a lot of activity with your loved ones. Um, but eventually it does lead to something being over. And you have to move on, sail into the sunset um, alone. And when you do that, you get temperance, major arcana. Um, so you're going to have that luck, that expansion. You're going to grow. You're going to integrate and renew and heal yourself. And again, I see patience. There's a lot of patience in moving on in this reading. You may even decide, hmm, I'm going to test the waters again. <laughs> Maybe you were trying to decide whether or not you needed to have the affair, okay? But this is getting your life together. With the High Priestess, I see psychic healing. With death... I see um, you're going to have a buffer to some kind of uncontrollable destruction. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, I see you will have a long path wherever you choose. Could be career, could be spirituality. Yeah, that's what I mainly see right now. But you're going to have to work hard to let go, have forgiveness, um, and heal. And you're going to look for a lover who's going to stay by your side, um, like Ace of Pentacles would suggest. You're on the search for somebody um, who has solace in their wings. Okay, this is the healing card, so you're looking for healing. And the final card that clarifies temperance is Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles tells me that there's a lot of pressure, okay, to be prepared. 
Also, the need to save could be saving money. But also, he's just in isolation, this Four of Pentacles. He's away from the background and the other pictures that we have and the Universal Rider weight. And he's off on his own. Well, here, this guy, you can tell he's off on his own. There's like a little bit of building, but then there's a huge mountain. And you notice the triangle is in the same shape as the mountain. The mountain is stability. And it's also reminiscent of the hermit, so it's that reflection. And they don't show it on this particular temperance card. But temperance usually has a doctor's circle on their head, and then they have um, their chest has a triangle. And then we have another triangle. And that triangle is representative of healing. And then the doctor's, whatever that thing is, I need to, guys, tell me what that little circle thing is that all, all the doctors used to wear a long time ago, I think. Um, but anyways, anyways, that reminds me of getting healing, okay? And with that triangle, I do see that being prepared, um, isolating yourself uh, like the high priestess and doing that reflection, possibly like a monk um, or a priest. I see it is going to bring about healing. You're going to be prepared, but you'll, you'll be in some isolation, okay? Um, and some of you, though, who aren't the priest or whoever, you will be working hard for a lover that will stay by your side. Um, and you will be able to move on from some hurt. But since we have, you know, some different groups of people in here, okay, for people who are the authority figure, um, what is their outcome? Four of Wands. Okay. So I see either a marriage or freedom from oppression, like getting away. And it's also, see how it's reminiscent of the Ace of Cups with the rainbow and Ten of Cups? I see joining a happy community. Okay, so you may join another congregation. You also may get that relationship you've been wanting. All right, for those who are not the authority figure, what's their outcome? Wow, chariot. Okay, number seven. Oh, okay, so with chariot, and the Ace of Cups, and the knight, Nine of, King of Pentacles, right? King of Pentacles? No, it's a Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know why I was thinking Knight. Okay, so with Chariot, Three of Pentacles, King of Cups, I see those of you who are not the authority figure, you're going to get recognition at work, and you're going to have a love conquest of your soulmate. Okay, so if you're trying to woo that authority member, uh, or authority figure, I think you're going to get it. I think that's what the King of Pentacles and the Devil are telling me. <laughs> Aside from falling off the bandwagon, possibly. Also, since uh, we have the High Priestess, I see that your wisdom will lead to victory. Um, with the Death card, I see you will be settling down. And with the Fool, I see that you may be taking a new path, and that's what's going to lead to your victory. And with King of Pentacles too, I see you're going to gain as from a victory. It could be a windfall like many. Um, with uh, Temperance, I see you may be traveling or moving. to be moving to a new organization with your lover because your affair wasn't accepted wherever you were going. What are some action steps to take for the authority figures? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so again, be patient. Assess, reflect if this is good for you. Wait it out because something good is growing. Okay. And it's going to possibly be a windfall because it, he is growing money. But basically he's growing something valuable and he's just going to decide what, if he should do it, and when it's upright, this is a good investment, okay? All right, what should uh, people who are not the authority figure do? Or, yeah, five of cups. Okay, let me think about that as an action step, because you don't, don't see that. <laughs> All right, if you were hurt or betrayed, I want you to take it, you know, be honest with yourself, Do again, do some reflection, and then take any pain you have and use it to grow. Again, you're going to gain wisdom, and here we have the Hierophant, which is wisdom. 
So it could be that you're going, not only are you gaining wisdom, but you're literally gaining the hierophant. You're gaining um, the authority figure. <laughs> but you're going to have to let go of any previous illusions, okay? Because they're going to be obstacles. And just know that any mistakes you make, because you are, you know, getting recognized at work, okay? Any mistakes you make will affect your work. So you could possibly be a student in like a, not a promissory, what are those called? Seminary. You could be a student in a seminary and falling for a teacher. Okay. All right. Overall, oh my, judgment. Okay. So there could be a final cleansing of a relationship. Also with judgment, I see that the Wheel of Fortune's karma, karmic reward, it is absolute, especially with death. But the Fool, um, which we had, is going to make you immune to whatever happens. So, again, if you have an affair, you're going to be immune to any consequences. Uh, you're going to have this new start, um, possibly at a new location with the person. Looks like everything's going to work out. Even if morally it might be wrong, it looks like everything works out for you. Um, let's see, we have the High Priestess. Let me think about that. Okay. Yeah, with the Judge, it tells me that there's a person, possibly from the past, and now you're going to be in charge whenever they come back instead of the other way around. But basically, there's an awakening, a rebirth, the revelation. Yeah, especially with the High Priestess, because she takes the curtain back and reveals something. And again, I see connecting to a higher power. So some of you are in a spiritual setting. Now with Seven of Swords, okay, there is a sneaky secret. Um, but you're going to be able to get your power back. And just thinking with the Fool and the Page of Cups... I see, you know, you're spending time with somebody who you love a lot, but you're very afraid of taking a risk in love. But you may need to, okay? I do see you, King of Pentacles. There could be a new business opportunity. Hmm. Now, just so you know, with temperance and the devil, king of pentacles and devil say you're falling off the bandwagon, but then we have temperance. So it looks like eventually you do abstain from whatever addiction you have. Or if you don't fall off the bandwagon, it just, because the temperance and devil could be either falling off or not falling off. <laughs> so you know if you're falling off the bandwagon or not. I do see this as something very official with justice, I mean, with the judge, king of swords, hierophant. There's just a lot of officialness going on here. Yeah, and with hierophant and the fool, I do see a student. All right. Taurus, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy April.